Hello, you archaeologists. I'm the John Struck. Welcome to the proximity. I'm having a Final Fantasy XIV Requiem for Heroes patch 4.5 adventure. And uh, this is it. This is the final patch before Shadowbringers. It is 7.20 p.m. It says, says what time it is up there. I don't know when the time ends. I, But realistically, I have until midnight because I'm... I have work tomorrow. I had work today, which is why I'm starting so late. Uh, I did not have a four-day a weekend. I feel like a three-day weekend was kind of excessive. Let's send this snail away. Let's see if we, if we can get there. What I forgot to do was check dungeons and stuff, which I, I normally make a note of. Uh, but I can grab that. There's... Whatever, like, we finished the Omega storyline... We clearly haven't finished the Prima Vista storyline. We haven't finished the Firebird stuff. Like, like, we can guess most of them. Soul searching. LSA is at her wit's end. Why is my, my phone not going by? And also, this will spill on me if I'm I don't put it on. Come, though I'm afraid there's little in the way of good news. Oh, yeah. Just immediately spill. After you left, we reached out to both the Alchemist's Guild and Stillglade Fane and attempted all manner of treatments. But the results were always the same. Whatever the answer is, it's not alchemy or conjuring. Their souls are gone. Why did it have to be Yishtola and Urianger and not me? Out of all of us, they are the ones who could feasibly have solved this puzzle. And Elvino's still missing. God, it's all going wrong. Where do we even start? A grave situation indeed. Might I be of some assistance? Ooh, who's this? <gasps> it's Kryle. Kryle? I thought you were busy delving into the mysteries of Eureka. Yeah, I didn't really want to do it. When word reached me of the plight of our friends, I could not well stay away. As a fellow scion, not to mention your erstwhile mentor, this is one of those times you should feel free to call on me, regardless of my personal circumstances. I... yes, I should have thought of that. Thank you for coming, Kryle. We would welcome your insight. You should probably grab that witch as well. And I should be happy to provide it. Now, what's this I hear about Alphano heading into Imperial territory? That boy always did have some funny ideas. Do you remember the speech he gave when he was accepted to the studium? My life's goal is not less than the salvation of this star. <laughs> well, that particular grand pronouncement has been a source of great embarrassment to him, as you know. But the fact of the matter is, he meant every word and has lived his life accordingly. Yes, he remains altruistic to a fault, but I'm worried he was too fixated on his goals to see the dangers, as has happened before. You needn't be so concerned. Though his values remain the same, Alphano is not the blinkered boy he once was. Slowly but surely, his eyes have been opened. Thanks to a certain someone... Uh, I've... No, I... Not, not thanks to me. I've done shit to change his behaviour. certain someone whom he'd be mortified to learn had heard about his little speech. Mum's the word, eh? Happy bunny. Right, I'd better have a look at our patients. They're in the infirmary, I assume. I'll need absolute quiet, so it would be best if I did this alone. If you'll excuse me. She got absolute quiet.
All three are in fine physical health. At a glance, I would say they were merely sound asleep. Except for the fact that I couldn't sense the slightest trace of them in their bodies. It's as if their souls have taken leave of their physical forms. Didn't we all already oh. know that? Yes. The Elder Seedseer made a similar observation. I've read the report. When you heard this mysterious voice, you so described she didn't hear it, so she is safe. somewhere else, yes? If we assume the ether which comprises your essence is being drawn to some other place, then it may be possible to follow the trail it leaves behind, just as we did in our search for Thancred. Happy bunny. I wasn't around for that, but I can't imagine it was easy. Oh, it wasn't. But that's no reason not to try. I will have need of Master Matoya's crystal eye. Thought you we'd need Matoya. So I suggest we pay her a visit. I'm glad the game pays attention to its own technology. Okay. Okay, we hadn't actually handed in that quest over, but... But I was done. week we can play our point and click games again. Oh hang on. I was hitting the max, right? Two thousand, yeah. What's the other? Forbidden wax. I was hoping for a pet. Yeah, so we should get something from it. Powerful and choices and Okay, I'm just not going to read this. Um, be a subject long awaited bonus. Premium Mammoth. Clockwork Alpha. There we go. Cool. So I did accidentally read a couple of things, which. One, I guessed. Because, obviously, oh, I don't want to say. One regarding Omega, which is an entirely guessable thing. Entirely guessable thing because of reasons. Uh, I didn't know the, the, the details, but like, no, I genuinely... Well, then, why don't you say these things out loud when you guess them? Because then it just looks like you're lying. Um... She's the worst thing in the world. Who cares if people think I'm lying? But like, you, there was a thing and you go, oh, I wonder if this is true. And yeah, because they can use that. Unfortunately, I wanted to know the reaction to the end of the last story beat. And I read a thing and then I Googled a name. And don't Google people's names. <laughs> and so I know who the stranger is now. 
Uh, which is a shame. I won't say. I'm going to hope the game actually... Tells us pretty soon. Like, during this patch. Uh, what I'm looking for... Is... I guess I... We'll need a shop as well, but... Not what I was here for. I was looking for my mask. Uh, oh, the bell. I was looking for the bell. Not only are we going to run out, we have loads of, like, useless things, but, like, all the orchestrations can go in our pockets. At the very least. Let's make sure we've bought everything from there as well. Captain's supplies. Could this fashion leader... Was that a person? You know what? I thought that was the name of a NPC. We'll fight, like, we'll pass one soon enough. But yeah, I shouldn't. So, oh, and look, it's right there as well. sound? Yes. Stuff. What's that? Tone of 
Genesis. Oh god. Okay. There's the bell. I saw a bell on the screen. That stuff. Okay, I just want to double check what the fuck some of these things are. Okay. Got the dark matter. These two. That's my cup of tea. Shuttle, yes, yes, please. The question is then, when exactly did Ramza get his fellowship journey next? What do we owe this unexpected visitor? I had not planned on summoning you for another several tons of the sun. Apologize if we caused you any about worry. I suppose one cannot allow a reporter in their midst and not expect to report what she sees. I did expect a tad more discretion from Miss Murilla. Alma has, of, as of late, been experiencing difficulties with her health. 
sure revisions have been called upon to discern what exactly it is that ails her. But as far as I can tell, there's nothing physically wrong with my sister. The consensus is the rigors of extended stay in foreign land has taken their toll on her fragile heart. Maya, when did you... Oh, my! Alma. I'm fine, brother. It's obvious you are not. You must return to your chambers and rest. Forgive me, perhaps we shall speak again once I regain my strength. Until then, please look after my father. Now then, where are we? Yes, the matter of our expedition. We discovered during our most recent foray into the Esther Sands, the Damascan capital of Rabanasto appears to lie upon the ruin of what, what can only be the royal city of Lasalia, the ancient capital of the lost kingdom of Ivalice. Uh, shortly after, we stumbled upon the remnants of the legendary clockwork city of Gaug, cleverly repurposed into a lighthouse overlooking Rud Rudarana cataract, remnants which now sit up suspended above the fathomless chasm. How big is it? Fucking fathomless! Zalia, Gauk, what have they in common, you ask? I shall tell you. They both appear in my ancestors' account of the rise of Ivalice, the Jurai Papers. With each new discovery, the Forbidden Chronicle is now providing Ivalician legend to be more than fact than fairy tale. There is no denying the proof, and it is but a matter of time before scholars and historians from across the realm come to visit, come, come to the same conclusions. But as you are all aware, my aim was never to simply prove the existence of Ivalice. Now I shall not rest until it reveals the, reveal the truth of my young, of young Ramses' role in King Delator's ascension. Declared my ancestor Oren Duray of false accusations made against him by the Church. Should we not see to Alma first? That was a weird black noise then. Kugane's uh, surgeons uh, would have us believe that she's no, in no immediate danger, as her illness is not one of the body but of the mind. To borrow their words, her spirit is in a state of unbalance and merely requires time to right itself. Amor will be fine as long as she remains in bed. The last thing she needs is any further excitement, especially at the pores of these meddlesome mole bats. Though I, I must admit it, both Mont Blanc has both proven more than useful than I have ever dared to mad imagine. When it comes to usefulness, I am first in the field. Was it the furriest in the field? Would you like to fill my fur, Cooper? Yes. And you wonder why Vasma despises you so, brother? They all do the work and all you do is jest, Cooper. If you are mistaken, Hurdy, but neither of you nor your brother any ill will. Any further ill will, that is. If anything, I owe you thanks for your recent contributions. Hmm. Thanks. Are you hearing what I'm hearing? What happened to the venom-spitting adder we all know, used to know and hate? Alma certainly seems pleased with the change, but uh, forgive me for not buying into this all-too-convenient transformation. Happy Bunny. Simply showing the world of that evil East actually existed will not validate the claims chronicled in the Jura papers. This great father, the key lies with Vasma Biov. Uh, if we can find evidence of his hidden role in history, it prove Oren's testimony true. Safeguard our family main name from ridicule. 
which is why I turned the focus of my research to Delita's forgotten companion and his actions during the War of the Lions. It was only then that I discovered something most intriguing, an underlying struggle with an unknown force, a force with the power to bring about calamitous ruin. <gasps> oh, sight. The twisted abominations we encountered above the Salio and Gaug, the Lulusavi, what? Lukavi are both born of these unholy crystals, while nobles of the North and South Corp squabbled over Ivalice's crown. Ramza silently sought to rid the world of a darker evil. Evil manifest from the deepest desires of men and women whose mind has fallen prey to the Orosite. And with each confrontation did Ram Ramza's fellowship grow smaller. Countless companions lost the cause. That would go unwritten. It was more, far more important than any clash of armies. And so did they endure until reaching their final destination, the Auburn Monastery. Oh, I know this one. The Auburn Monastery is where the Princess Ovelia was raised. There's a, scene, there's a scene about it in the Zodiac Brave story. After Delato emerged victorious in his final campaign, he married the princess to legitimize his claim to the throne of Ivalice. Ah, I see someone's been paying attention. I don't understand why would Ramses' crusade against the Lukavi take him back there? According to the Jurai papers, the sinister being who engendered the Orosite was said to have slumbered beneath the monastery. But who, what would have the means to create something so powerful? Ultima, High Seraph. So, I do forget. I remember uh, playing Final Fantasy sixteen, going, "Oh, isn't it surprising that like they've not actually used Ultima before?" Forget like Ultimicia is in um, Final Fantasy eight, and I don't even think that's. But yeah, Ultima is also in Final Fantasy twelve as one of the summons. Seraph? What's a seraph? I don't know. What's a seraph for you? Seraphs are believed to, but by some to be servants of the gods, divine beings, whose only purpose is to carry out the will of their mortal masters, sometimes known as a foul sea. Um, as whether or not Ultima can claim this title, however, I cannot say. Just as there were those who chose to worship Ultima, that other worldly might, there were equally as many who feared the visitor and the deadly magics, often referring to her as the angel of blood. The carnage left in her wake. Have you seen the? We're going to see the the Irish one, the Kukla. I don't know how to pronounce it, but you know what I mean. It's, it's round and green, I think. Interestingly, uh, interesting. What if the spell I have claims to have experienced in the Praetorium uh, coincidentally also called Ultima was in fact an elegant interpretation of the very magics introduced by Heidelin by the High Seraph. I like okay. Walter is the ultimate. What that would mean? What would that mean? You're not. You're as crazy as a coconut. Uh, I have spoken with several colleagues back in Charlene regarding their opinion on our ancient incantation, while they have little to show for their research so what they've done there I like this it's a good storytelling technique is you find a weakness of yours what's a weakness well we use we want to borrow from everything because it's huge and we have to borrow but we use concepts multiple times uh, and well how do we solve that well we make we uh, yeah one space on the other we make you make a weakness into a strength in which man alter uh, so they all agree on one thing the manner of which ultimate ethereal the manifest should not be possible, at least on a Hydlin. So it naturally didn't make sense if we discovered the elegance learned the spell from not from this dimensional plane, uh, as to exactly how they convinced the being to impart the knowledge onto them. Not to this plane. What manner of creature are we talking about here? One likely similar to Omega. Oh god, they're linked! 
How long have you been listening from the shadows, my friend? Long enough I'm here to deliver the item Mikoto requested. And they always have been, because like... Omega became a weapon, and it's like, hang on, that's an ultimate thing. Uh, Omega's not a weapon. There was no need for you to deliver it personally, a Muggle would have sufficed. Muggle? And trust that he won't tear open a package and show it to Super Random Adventure? No, this is far too important. If you two do not mind, Principal was about to tell us how to find the Orborn Monastery. What that I could. I don't know, then what have we been doing here? At ease, Lady Mew. Dry papers speak of a cataract situated on uh, River Zerchel. Several leagues southeast of Rabanasta, and supposedly that lies a monastery. Zerchel is not a name of fight. <sighs> So I'm sorry, normally I would have a little rest after work. I don't have time! Uh, so, uh, uh, the Ebbervin Nation were half claimed by the sand. The river we seek can only be that which bisects Gomor on the Nagshin border. For that invaluable information, we owe thanks to our brothers Mughals. Uh, their travels have made them veritable authorities on Damascan geography. Wait, you earlier claimed that you didn't know the monasteries were about, so I'm confused. Location is not what concerns me, but perhaps the Mughals themselves should explain. Why, certainly. The verdant valleys of vines and vipers to where we must voyage next is home to the Viera. Therein lies our little problem. One thing the Viera do not suffer is trespassers. Guys, there's one in the room with you. Not, not even lovable Mughals, Kupo. Our calamities kept us hidden long enough to see the jungles teeming with ruins. Much like those we've discovered in Lizali and the Gog. But the Viera trackers eventually found us and took us. For the elders, we barely escaped with our palms, Kupo. That's why they were still uh, talking instead of bound for the border. The Vieira, who spurned the strict code of their tribe, banning their people to come and live in the city of Del Masca, finding and recruiting one to a cause that might. Yeah, yeah, I wonder where you might find a Vieira to uh, provide a insight into how to reach the open monastery ruins. Fortunately, the nation's current turmoil has not made it easy to accomplish this task. We still require more time. Yeah, I don't know. You were, uh, what are, what are the Vier Before boarding the shuttle, I was stopped by a bank on the docks. He asked me if I knew uh, Naya Valtirian and I bid her deliver her message. I told him that he was welcome to accompany me to the Puma Vista, so he might deliver the message himself, but the man refused. Koto, I saw this device crafted to your ex exact specifications. I cannot guarantee that it will function as intended, seeing as I'd, I had nearly a subject to test it on it. Stabby, stabby knife. Of course, Master Sid, if any trouble is met, then I will stab the fuck out of them. It's most likely the sign that it's to blame. It's actually what she said there. High five. Your confidence in my craftsmanship is flattering, but you sell yourself too short, my dear. Then here's to your success. Good day. Since you are interested in the package Sid delivered, I have every intention to appraise you of its contents, but first I believe we should speak of Alma's condition. Uh, do you not find her illness too all, all too timely? Genomus and Ramza would like to believe that her bouts of vertigo are naught but the result of mind fatigue, but the answer is clear, the oversight of that plagues her. <sighs> Alma recently confided to me that she would hear her father speaking of the odious well, well before his first foray into Rabinasta, however, I do not think it's entirely true. 
like how Sid spoke to Vanar. Which is not to imply that Alma is trying to deceive us. Rather, I think she saw something that led her to believe her father was conversing with Orosite. Moreover, I suspect the Orosite itself has granted her this vision. For my hypothesis on the distinct frequency NLR type harmonic vibrations and their tendency to promote ethereal amplification, or when I mentioned that, despite being the principal possession of the extended period, the Otis exhibited none of the imprinting present in the Duma, no? The Otis never resonated with Genomis. It's always been his wife's pendant and Orosite Shard, the Virgo, that fueled his passion for the Ivalice. No, the Otis is bound to Alma's deepest desires, whatever those may be. The only reasons I can fathom that Alma has not fallen victim to the Orosite's grasp is that her desires are not as strong as those we have witnessed in Argaf and Begamnon, that in the ethereal interference caused by other nearby shards. Well, I hope nothing bad happens to um, her brother, because I suspect you'll want to do something to save him. Explained all this to Alma and recommended that she destroy the necklace. Yes, she did. To refuse, she begged me to keep this revelation from her father. And so I did the only thing I could to devise to mean that I could impede or at least lessen the effects of the Otius. This device, while still incomplete, will amplify the wavelengths emitted by the Virgo and should work to interfere with those emitted by the Otius, thereby shielding Alma from the brunt of their effect. City below is a buzz with the word of Banger, Bringer and loitering in the airship landing. Really? Do you think it would be... Like, I feel like it's just another creature. Uh, do you think it could be someone we know, Kupo? But I needed to speak with you and you alone. Come on, Cooper, I'll just be flying over here in the perfect earshot. Are you? What makes you think I won't lay you low right here, right now? Is you're here to offer a proposition that's what we need? We need information on the Goldmore girls. Uh, sorry, I mean the Goldmore jungles. I thought a man as well traveled as you might be persuaded to provide some. Goldmore, you have all creatures to know that's Vieira land. I'm right here, guys. What are you offering then? Why the opportunity to tell us what you know? Genomis believes our next adventure lies beneath the jungle canopy, Kupo. I should have expected as much. Well, very well, Nive. I have come to ask you to meet someone. Now it seems someone may have be able to assist Genomis as well, seeing as you and the principal did right before us. I do not see a reason why we both cannot cannot take both of you. Let me know when you're ready to depart. It's the life of Brigandy in the clouds, are we? Of course not. Not that it didn't cross our minds. But when faced with the decision of what to do next, we simply needed to remember the dying words of our leader, Gizik Rinok. I decided to re enlist the Damascan fusiliers. fusiliers. And the occupying Galleons actually said yes, Cooper? Not exactly. We're now with the resistance. No doubt heard of the uprising in Damascus that followed the German liberation. How it was crushed under the iron heel of the uh, Fourth Legion. The 
Resistance leaders were captured, tortured, and publicly executed. Much of the Empire's chagrin. Gruesome display only served to further rally the survivors. Move one head and two go back in its place. Move two and there were four. One person, a person could die, but an ideal can live on. That's actually quite common, I think. And now there exists several factions of Damasca. We belong to one known as Lente's Tears. When we told our commanding officer of a recent crossing with you and yours, she simply insisted we introduce you. Me? I wasn't even supposed to be here, Kupo. Not you, Herb, or her. Meet the general and hear her proposal. Now, if you're not interested, we'll return you to Kugane Hanhan. Do you have our... Pearl, got your tongue. I've been asked to dead ahead, lads. Well, many mums to cover before nightfall. Oh, the Garam Safe Waterway. Give us sluice gates, you cowards! Done as I asked, I bring you the Liberator. And here I thought she'd be taller. Oh, it's literally, um, Fran. I knew it, a Vieira. I'm Fran, proud daughter of Damasca and General, General of Lente's Tears. And yes, Muggle, I am Vieira. Are you surprised? You've been hanging out with one all this time. Oh yes, in fact, I am. Her kind is supposed to be all living amongst the trees. I'm right here, Mount Blanc! Having shown contact with the outer world, Kupo, there's supposedly a few left that have left the home, but most certainly did not expect to see one here in the sewer. Indeed. Uh, this banger claims you seek Orban. Does he speak true? Those ruins lie deep within the Goldmore jungle, a place most sacred to my sisters. They would take great offence to were you to defile it with your presence. There's more. Bwagi tells me you travel with the Guardians, openly aiding those who would see our nation burn. How can we place our trust in one who would do such? Genomus and his family defected long ago. They are not your enemy. Also, um, I'm Vieira. Galleon is Galleon. Their prophetic attempt at absolution only proves their past guilt. You misunderstand. Clan Genomus does not approve the Empire. Emperor's warmongering. He wants to help Damascus and its impoverished masses, Kupo. What would a Muggle know of my people? Does your blood run on Damascus red? We can cut you open and find out. General, there's no need for threats. Okay, it's pretty weird to straight up have Fran in this. You're right, Bwaggy. This is probably... I'm like, I know Bagamnon and Bwaggy were in the game, but like they weren't main characters. Parley? Parley? First, the resistance requires men. Men and women from Aeolian Eastern Alliances to join us, winning Damascus of its Imperial invaders. Your past deeds have not made you well known to the leaders of both. They will listen to you if not, 
They will listen to the signs to, to which you claim allegiance. Second, the resistance require gold. Gold to strengthen our forces from within. They will allies are in bed with the East Aldenard Trading Company, which continues its dealings with Gallimold. Even as you raise your sword against them, profiting from the Empire's rampant aggression. As targets of that aggression, I believe my people are entitled to a portion of those profits. Grant me these simple things, and I shall personally guide you to safely to the ruins of the Auburn. What are the Lex entails? See me to victory, and I'll take the Emperor himself. Those are my conditions, what say you? Promise me my companions will see no harm. I will promise you nothing, but if it helps you sleep, know that I have never cut down a man who did not take up arms against me and mine, be him Galian or Aeorzean. Let's say we have a work cut out for us, Kupo. Raggy, you and your fusiliers, fusiliers, uh, to accompany the Liberator. I expect a detailed report on how my demands are received. Yes, General. She looks really out of place. I know that's how she always looked. But, like... She looks nakeder here. Like, there isn't anyone in this game that scantily clad. Not that I expected them to be taken seriously. You are full to trust them, Princess. But yeah, even, like, playing Final Fantasy XII. On an adventure group, I just think by tomorrow we could all be the newest members of the Damascan Resistance. Uh, not that I'm ready to give up my place in the Prima Vista just yet. Into the jungle. It would have been nice if they like made adjustments for you being a Viera, but whatever. If I don't tell someone of our adventure quick, I'll possibly burst, Kupo. woman asks much of us. Viera has ever been wary of outsiders for centuries. There many tribes have remained hidden in the jungles, content with the self-imposed solitude. The tribe has its own trick code and will met swift punishments to any who defy these laws. As such, many of Viera have spent their whole entire life bound to the territory of their ancestors, both unwilling and able to venture beyond its borders. While the tribes are wholly independent, they have agreed to uphold a single standard, shun all contact with the outside world unless it is to protect their jungle. I said, of every generation, there are those Viera who long for a life beyond the verdant sea of trees and abandon their tribes to start a new life in the kingdom cities. My guess is that Fran is one such individual. She's still dressed like one of them, though. Or also happens to be the only individual we know and can guide us through the monastery, Kupo. I'm right here, guys! Uh, it seems Naive's sword arm won't be enough to see us through this predicament. She'll need to don the right mantle of a diplomat with to convince the alliances and Eve Aldenard company to grant us aid. What could go wrong? Yes, yes. I know you said not to call unless it was urgent. But this is urgent, all right. Not exactly, but my superiors have come to a decision on your request. Thought you might want to hear what they have to say. Let me preempt my any request for immediate disclosure. A reminder that the information is much too sensitive to discuss. A link pearl, meet me at the Ruby Bazaar post haste, and I will duly appraise you of their judgment. Well then, I have. What are we waiting for?
Uh, I read the, about how you united the whole of AOZ under a single standard and convinced the Holy See during the Thousand Year Conflict. Compared to that, asking a few soldiers and a coffer for, for a few... Asking for a few soldiers and a coffer or free goes with a piece of roll and berry cake. I suppose we should inform Bwagiri down to the Kugani landing on the progress. You mentioned he was to keep an eye on us. Answer from East Altenard already impressive. It would seem the Lady Fran has underestimated your influence among the realm's players. I assume you have no objections to me joining you then. Bizarre. Uh, maybe I should have looked where the quest was. What awaits us inside the bazaar, shall we know? Grumble, grumble, grumble. Lovely lady and a banger. He was expecting you to be alone, Naive. Excuse my manners, I'm Hancock, representative to rep representative of East Aldenard Trading Company assigned to oversee her assets here in Kukane. It is a pleasure to meet you. He has really good hair compared to a lot of the other characters. I guess it's... Hang on, I'm Yugi. I apologize for making you come all this way. It is far from the landing to Ahem. Yeah, her hair's not great. Wagyu, was it? I serve Lord Hien, rightful ruler of Derma. I've come bearing our nation's reply to your entreaty. I'm Titaro. Yeah, neither it's hers. Uh, the sounds of the Seventh Dawn. I'm here to seeing no one else could be bothered. Well, that and to bear a message from the leader of the uh, Aussian Alliance. Thanks for coming, Bwagi, former member of Damascan Royal Fusiliers. Now I claim allegiance to, to Lente's Tears, resistance group seeking to accomplish what you've done in Doma and Alamigo. What tidings have you brought us? Allow me to begin with then. While the East Aldenar Trading Company sympathizes with your plight, we're not in position to grant you the funding you seek. As you're aware, the East Aldenar Trading Company puts up pride to itself in neutrality, be it in matters political or personal. And what of our relationship with the AEOs in Alliance? Yes. What I meant to say was here in Hingashi, the East Aldenar Trading Company prides itself in neutrality, be it in matters political or you must understand a position simply supplying coin to any one group, make it appear as we will somehow favour that group over another, seeing as we conduct business openly and fairly with everyone, doing such a thing would be sending, sending the wrong message, ultimately harm profits. Yes. By selling to both sides, you maximise profits with good men and women perish. How convenient. We are a business, my lady. 
We do what we must to survive. Um, it does not mean, however, we're blind to the needs of our customers of our allies. Customers or our allies, which is why we support the AOs in Alliance and the noble efforts to safeguard the realm's freedom. The mutually beneficial arrangement. But it were my choice, I'd provide you little resistance with all the funding it needs. But as my good friend I have knows, all too well, it's not my choice. Oh now, the Hancock's family lowered your spirits. You won't be as crestfallen when I inform you the Aeols in the lands will also be unable to provide any assistance. Let me guess you did everything in your power to try and convince the leaders of each city-state, only to watch as they politely declined a proposal claiming an unfortunate lack of intelligence or resources. Wait, how did you... But he and sends his greetings to you and yours, having recently found strength in newly formed alliance with our neighbouring nations. Dermo is open to further welcoming like-minded organisations. This includes Damascus brothers and sisters still suffering of an imperial yoke. However, word is it the latest attempt at reclaiming your kingdom ended in failure, resulting in the loss of countless lives, including many of the resistance leaders. We're not mistaken, our army is not what it once was. Those remaining have been forced to take refuge deep within the streets of Rabanasta. Well, hello, Craig. The uh, Fourth Legion has already defeated you once, lacking unity and leadership, and current resistance will not survive another tilt against the Empire's dis disciplined ranks. It's very strange to have straight up Fran turn up. If Domo is to join hands with Damaska as an ally, you must first prove to us that you will stand as one. No more fully fledged ally would serve far better to strengthening our cause than a few temporary soldiers. Yet, even if we were able to wrest Damascus from the Empire's grasp, without unity among your people, the resulting chaos could, could prove even more perilous to the kingdom. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this in time. We've been doing this story for like an hour. Um, you understand much of our situation. And based on that understanding, You'd refuse your aid to Lente's tears, am I correct? Do not mistake me, Lord. Heans refusal is but a message meant to help you plan your next step. You are a wise master. You have a wise master. He understands without the proper planning, grabbing one enemy from your midst simply creates room for the next. Lady Fran will no doubt be pleased to hear that your response was exactly what she expected. You knew this whole time your demands would be rejected, yet you still let this fast play out. With my apologies, but this is all necessary to prove an important point to our leader. Lady Fran needed to show the princess just exactly what she was getting herself into. Your honesty today. Is it actually going to be. No, they said Ashelia had died. Honestly, today would show us any better than any hollow promise. Thank you. Wait, what about the Golmord girls? Can you believe this? We're right back where we started. Principal Genomus will not be pleased.
You can actually see it on the map. If it is as you say, it is most unfortunate, but I suppose we did everything in our power, and that is all one could ask. I still do not understand why would Lady Fran say naive on this wild pass here. Chase, if she knew from the start, it would be for naught. Raggy mentioned something about Fran proving a point to their leader, whomever that may be. Maybe they faked the death. People in positions of power can prove both naive and stubborn creatures. Simply telling a leader she's wrong may not convince her of the fact. Seeing one's plan fail, however, is oft the best medicine. Naive and stubborn, then the resistance is doomed. If the person is imposing as Fran has taken orders from her, then chances are the leader is even worse, Coupeau. I would not be so certain, Mont Blanc. I guess as the individual in question is still quite young and inexperienced, and Lady Fran is trying to teach her an effective leader. For example, Allowing her to make her own mistakes, Fran is granting her the ability to grow and learn from them, an experience that will ultimately benefit her when the time comes to make some truly difficult decisions. Now, I seem to recall reading that one of the many faces of the Resistance before uh, recent quelling was a young girl of royal blood, do you suppose? Ashalia... I'm trying to remember her full name. Sid says it. Um, and all of Sid's scenes are amazing in Final Fantasy XII. Like, he doesn't just say, Ashelia! It's like, Ashelia! Wubli! Damaska! Welcome! Um, you may cease with your baseless presumptions, Defector. The door was open. She sort of looks strange because she, she... I guess everyone hangs their arms down weirdly, actually, now that I think about it. And who, who would you be? I would be here on orders from the leader of Lente's Tears against my better judgment, mind you. Greetings, Lady Fran, I presume. Genomus Ken Lexentail, principal of the Majestic Theatre Company, and you and your colleagues are most welcome on the prim prim Prima Vista. Uh, what is it your leader would have us have of us? Well, you've failed in meeting even a single of our demands. She recognises that you are sincere in your attempts to see them fulfilled, and for that effort, you are to be compensated. I, I know they're not Welsh, they're like Nordic, uh, but I, I, I can't do Nordic. Uh, and then she's like, it's a really weird accent, the VRL accent. I, I can't quite place it, but it sounds a tiny bit Welsh occasionally. Not the, to not the, the Welsh I'm doing, but... I'm attempting to do, let's say. The ruins which you seek are hidden behind a waterfall here, a point roughly equidistant from the river's source and its delta. You have our thanks, Lady Fran. We will not f forget this kindness, Father. I will plot a course immediately. Um, so what is going on here? Helma, you should be in bed. I've slept enough, brother. Tell me, who are our guests? It appears, it appears once again to prepare. You once again to prepare a lot of leaping to dangers more. Keep your wits about you, Nayev. Lady Fran is strong, but then again, so was Begamnon. I guess that's the, um, if you excuse me, that's the, like, the remake of Twelve's model of Fran. Are you mad? A trip to the surface in your condition? Listen to me, brother. The High Seraph beckons. She speaks to me through the Otius. That's all the reason not to go. The what? 
There is no need to worry. Makoto and I have already devised a plan. I can help clear this, our family name. Charlian has no say in this. And your father and I insist you remain here on the airship. What would your mother say if I allowed aught to befall you? Mother? If, if that's all that this is about. What has it always been about? You don't... This... What? Is that what this is about? You care not about Ivalice or the Aura name. You only seek to use the Aura site to bring Mother back. <gasps> you haven't been able to do that. You still don't uh, understand how it... It is this, that the shards translates one's desires into reality. That is where I can help. I can help the high... Ask the high Seraph. It's she who created the Aura site. Ultima has bid me uh, come to her place of imprisonment. And if we free her... She will reveal to, onto us the secrets of creation. I'm trying to figure out because all of the Final Fantasy XII summons are based on final bosses of games. And like one of them literally has Cloud in its name. So it's like, okay, that's Cloud of Darkness, presumably. Um, and I know Exodus, which we've not seen yet, is X-Death. It'd be funny if we fight Exodus because it means we fought X-Death twice um, through this, a version of him. If we hear she will remove it, that seems like a bad idea. Look at what you're saying, Alma. Even if there was the slightest chance of bringing Mother back, we cannot risk your life in doing so. Your brother is right. We've sacrificed too much already. I cannot bear the thought of you losing you either, either of you. It is too late! So lonely father, why must you love Ramza more than you do me? Do not be cousined by your daughter's words, they are, for they are not her own. Also, what does cousin mean? Oh. Help me, Ram. Oh, could be anyone he's, she's calling for. Hammer! No, no! Gods for Fend. Told you, no one can control the power within those shards. No one. They have here, take this. Might be the only thing that can save Alma, but we must hurry to the monastery. Come, we leave for the Gilmore girls now. It's taken a while, but we might have a dungeon we can unlock. Hello, Fran. Have you permission to depart now? Every moment we tell here, my sister, she... Oh, Hold on. Set the f engines to full speed. That doesn't seem like full speed at all. It's going really slowly. Welcome to the land of my people. It would be a poor lie if I said I did not miss it some. Yeah, I've been here. Also, Vieira. Helma!
Come to help me. Zoop. We just did this. Oh, ma. Be gone! Alright, this is very silly immediately following the last scene, but I appreciate there's probably a gap intended. <gasps> Alma, Ramza! Blood of the Invokers, fulfill the ancient covenant, grant unto me the vessel promised. Oh, that voice is ominous. Yoink! Oh, it was a quicker hand that time. What? Just... Waggy to me! The girl... the girl's not well. Or might I suggest we continue this back at Prima Vista, Grippo? Recognize that armor? No, I don't think I do. He's wearing vagrant story style like chaps. They look tremendously silly though. Uh, have you the courage to face true evil? What are you copying out the ships this way, Cooper? Well, not chaps. Um, he's wearing like a thong. But it, it reminds me of Vagrant's story. Ashley Bryant's. Uh, I, I, I like Vagrant's story, but it is a little bit of a silly costume. Um, love that we have a fainting chair. Rams is gone, oh dearest Tia, what have I done? What have I done? Hello, uh, it's not who I'm meant to talk to. Puppet! The city of angels! We need to do something. What recourse is left to us? The only means we have of protecting ourselves could not even prevent my son from. My son! I'm sorry, Genomis, my design was flawed. Not necessarily, Charlian. We all saw how it succeeded in drawing Alma back from the rift and shattering the Otis. The boy, the loss of the boy is not yours to bear. Our focus here should not be on our failures, but what we have learned from them the being beyond the rift it spoke before claiming ramza it referred to you as the blood of its invokers could it be your ancestors are responsible for ultima summoning but fucking loads of people would be the answers okay well i've never been for this i certainly not have discovered no such interference in where the uh, dry papers uh, besides the tale of the high seraph existed far between the earliest of the evolution legends like if 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 there is one person related to somebody important back there, there's thousands, because that's how bloodlines work. It doesn't go. There aren't single blood. Single. It's unlikely that there's a single family line. If it's blood, it's not like patrilineal either. It's just blood. Um, besides tales of the high seraph existed far before the earliest evolution legends.
Then, then who exactly did summon Ultima? And why does she think them your kin? Look! I have a bad feeling about this, Koopo. I'm so dead. You lie about. You lie about as well as you carry yourself in battle, Oran. You lie as well, whatever. I did not say he was dead, my lord Delator. Merely that he had abandoned his mortal vessel, trusting his ethereal soul to the Orosite. Why would he do such a thing? Pieces finally come to Ivalice. There's not to be had from further sacrifice. The kingdom is won, and this victory is as much mine as his as it is mine. He risk. Risked life and limb to show me from the dark that would have seen me perish. Without him, I would not be standing here before you. It's my duty as both king and colleague to see him saved. Knights to me! We ride for Auburn! My lord, wait! Jory Galbados, the first of the Zodiac Braves, was not the hero the church would you have you believe. He betrayed Mother Heidelin for the promise of coin and power, summoning forth a terrible evil from the depths of the celestial abyss. It is believed that only one of the lands chosen, Warrior of Light, might stand against this threat. That's convenient. Oh, yet victorious in battle, Ramza was unable to see the darkness vanquished. It's if failure was all that awaited our Warrior of Light. And the, oh, he's he's a warrior of light. That kind of makes sense. Then what chance do you presume any other might stand? Are you saying I should do nothing then? No, my lord Ramser is my brother's final wishes before he surrendered to the ether was that his name be struck from the annals of history. Ah, my Yoran hurt, but I was led to believe none but Oren returned from Auburn. What is this you speak of your brother's wishes? When it became apparent that we were powerless to defeat the High Seraph, we chose the only path left to us to do what Heidelin herself did countless centuries past, imprison Ultima. And as you are aware, my lord, the prison is only as strong as the seal on its gates. What? Ramza sacrificed his body to ensure that the angel of blood would never walk again on, walk, never again walk the land, and he believed that if people knew this sacrifice, it would only inspire them to seek out the holy stones and repeat the mistakes of those come before. If you truly avouch yourself, his friend, then you will honour this, his final plea. Oh, they've had it wrong! No, Ramza should not be forgotten. He should be raised up as a hero for his deeds and claim his rightful place at my side. He might be a he he might be my knight only he might be my knight gallant. It's gone, my lord. That's well hurt falling down on your knees like that, in full armour. Before Ramsa was your friend, before he was my brother, he was a warrior of light. He did what he did for Heidelin, and for those who would one day, too, heed the crystal's call. Claim the throne, my friend. Become ruler of Ivalice and restore the peace to this war-torn realm once and for all. Wait, Ramza, don't leave me! Please, I beg of you! Hmm. 
We'll make a fine and just king, Delita. So you do not stray from that path. Hamza. I'm just... Is Vagrant's story made by the same person as... Because I just realised... They all wear the shorts, like um, Vagrant Story as well. Vagrant Story, all everyone wears these sorts of armors. They're just PlayStation One graphics. Well, what's the city called in Vagrant Story? They definitely haven't said it in this because I would have noticed it. But it's definitely a location that they should visit. Stones, these two necklaces, are you certain they will guide the heroes of, of a new era to Ramza? It is what Ramza wished, my lord. Warren, I do not believe I can bear another farewell this day. I will not reconsider my offer to remain as a member of my court. It is but a matter of time before the Cardinal and his Temple Knights grow wise to my past. I would not have my presence here implicate you as well. I have book. Ramza beseeches me strike his name from history, but like you, my lord, I cannot bear the thought of suit your generations blind to the truth. Such I pen this chronicle of the hero's journey. Zzz. Fear the, the world, however, is not ready for the gospel contained within these pages, nor would the church ever allow its circulation. In fact, I believe they will confiscate every existing copy and lock them away in their library. And what better way for the words to remain forever preserved? in one of the most highly guided vaults in all, all the realm. Then one day, when the church has fallen out of favour, the chronicle will be discovered and truth shall prevail. You must admit your plan is intriguing, Oren. Once the church learns it was you who penned the chronicle, your life. Now was, no, was no time to be hungry. Are they related to both the Bioves and Oren? But like, it's definitely not... There would also be thousands of people related to them both. I have. It was the echo, wasn't it? Oh, it was like a five minute scene. I better explain. Fuck, what did they say? I forgot. Removal of Ramses' name from the history books. Dry papers, the pendants. It's all set in motion by Oren himself. And if the Liberator's visions are to be taken as fact, it also appears we now know what the hell I say I've meant by blood of my invoker. She was not speaking of the ancestors in the actual sense of actual kin, but the line chosen by Heidelin serve her as a warrior's line. That actually makes more sense, because that is a singular line. But why abduct Ramza with an armor, unless there's something you haven't been telling us? Who's using us to lure Naive? It is a vessel the high seraph desires. Matron's teeth, Zalma. Where have you been awake? Is that cat being distracted by the bunny lady by any chance? I've been a fool. I told our leader that it did not matter if our request for aid was refused. But I had an alternate ploy, alternative, whatever. General. It's all right, Baggy. My intention was to claim one of the Aurasite in the name of the Resistance and use its power to lay waste to the Galian occupants. Only now do I realize how flawed my ambitions were. I'm leaning too hard into it. Also, she doesn't sound anything like a 
You mean this whole time you were playing us for fools? Why didn't we see it earlier? Never trust a woman with ears longer than mine. Fuck off! I'm standing right there! You've every right to be angry. I apologize for misleading you. You, b but believe me, I no longer have any desire to deceive you or yours. I shall see you to Auburn Monastery and ask naught in return, but that you let me join you in your rescue of Ramza. <gasps> do not misunderstand me. I do not do this for any one of you. I do it for my people in both Golmore and Rabanasta. People who may die if the High Seraph is allowed to return to power. There we go, it took fucking ages, but we have it. Uh, I will be right back, but I guess I, I guess I could queue up immediately. Um, I'm a cup of tea as well. It's going to take more than 10 minutes for the queue to go in, but probably. Yeah, I'm unlikely to get it immediately. 